If your waistline is below the values presented in Table 1, you are probably not abdominally obese and do not have this emerging risk factor for diabetes and cardiovascular disease. However, if your waistline is above values for your sex and ethnic group, you should contact your physician for proper assessment of your risk factors and overall health. If your waistline is above values presented in Table 1, this does not automatically mean that you are abdominally obese. Your doctor will evaluate your global health and run simple tests to verify whether you have abnormalities commonly called the metabolic syndrome shown in Table 2. The metabolic syndrome is most often caused by a diet of overall poor nutritional quality and a sedentary lifestyle that lead to abdominal fat accumulation and insulin resistance. The cells of your body do not respond normally to insulin. You cannot diagnose the metabolic syndrome by yourself. So if you think that your waistline puts you at risk, please see your physician. Prevention is key. Invest in your health. If you are diagnosed with excess abdominal fat and the metabolic syndrome, improving the overall quality of your diet and increasing your level of physical activity and exercise are the cornerstones of the treatment. Measuring waist circumference also provides a good indicator of the amount of abdominal fat loss in response to healthy eating and increased physical activity. In fact, some sedentary individuals with abdominal obesity may lose abdominal fat and increase their muscle mass through healthy nutrition, physical activity, without necessarily losing weight. Losing waste without losing weight is not uncommon among individuals who take steps to change their sedentary lifestyle by incorporating regular physical activity and exercise. In this regard, several sections of our website provide basic tips to help you be more active and eat better. Regular physical activity is probably the best polypill available to reduce your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and other chronic diseases. If you think that your waistline is high, see your doctor, take action to invest in your health and quality of life, and stay tuned to the International Chair on Cardiometabolic Risk website.